All right, so hey folks, today I'm gonna uh, do a quick tutorial on how to install WordPress on Bluehosting. It's very simple. Um, I've been using Bluehost since 2006. As you can see here, that was my first invoice date. Um, and I highly recommend them. Um, I've used other ones in the past. And once I started using Bluehost, I have not looked back and I run multiple domains here. Um, the customer support is great. It's 24 seven. You get to talk to someone uh, live on the phone if there's ever a problem. Um, I've called about four o'clock in the morning before and there's, I get to talk to someone which is great support. Um, little disclaimer, if you do use my link, um, I will get a commission. But like I said, I'm only recommending them here because I use them and I think they're great. It's been over 10 years now. You can see my link to my uh, blog post here in the video description or in the video itself. And then for my blog post with more information and stuff. You get a special pricing, of course. And you that includes the free domain as well. So let's begin. So if you're, you'll be greeted to a page like this. Get started. Um, Select your basic plan. Um, if you just want one website, pick this one, you can upgrade later. I use this plan right here because I have multiple websites. So let's just select that for here. And then you want to select your domain name. If you already have a domain name registered with another registrar, you can uh, do this setup here. Um, I'm just going to type in d.com. That's probably already taken, but just for the circus, uh, the focus here of setting this up. <clears throat> so yeah, that's taken. So we're going to, you can choose .biz, .co, whatever, .org. We'll just do indeed.website here. Um, actually, you could probably do it from down here. There we go. Next. Okay, then you want to create your account, name, business address, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's different add-on services. You're probably going to want all the domain privacy protection. That's basically, if you don't have that, there's a register of domain names and it will have your name and address in it. Um, so it's only 99 cents per month. So I would add that. Some of this stuff, like Site Pro Backup, uh, you don't really need that at the moment, but you can add it on later. Um, and this is for what, 36 months, yeah. So you could change it to 12 months, 24 months, whatever. Um, then put your payment information in and whatnot. I already have an account, so I just wanted to show you how easy to do the your domain name in there real quick. So I'll go back to my account here. Once you get your login details, all that stuff, and you log into Bluehost, you'll have something that looks like this as your, your panel. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, you really don't need to worry about much of it right now, because right now we're just going to go to websites right up here. Um, you could even do it down here, install WordPress. I'm just going to click on that one, and then WordPress install, install now. Now WordPress is free, um, it's probably one of the best blogging platforms there is. A lot of people use it. Um, there's other stuff, if you want to do forms and stuff, you can look into that later. Install forms on your website, whatever, but we're just going to do the WordPress for now. Now, in my domain names here, I don't have indeed.website because I didn't re actually register that site. So I did make one. All right, you can install WordPress, get started. And then, so you have your domains here, whatever one you registered. And I made one called bluehost.gregkosis. Um, it's gonna check, okay, your install is ready to begin. Click next to continue and install. Just next, um, site name or title. I'm gonna name it 
you can change the name later, but I'm just going to name it Bluehost. Um, and then your user admin. Um, you can either use your email address or make something else up. Just don't use admin as, as the thing. I'm going to use my email. And then it gives you a password, um, which you can change later, which obviously I recommend. So I'm just going to copy that password for now. Then, oh, sorry. Accept the terms here. Then install. All right, WordPress is installing. Um, there's tons and tons of WordPress themes. Um, there's ones for free and there's ones you can pay for. I actually use both. Some of, some of them I paid for and some I use the free ones. Um, the free ones are awesome. So, I mean, if you're, if you're new, I would just start with the, the free ones. Even if you're not new, I would, I would still use the free ones. But like I said, I have different websites, so I have different themes on different ones. Okay, installation is complete. Uh, get your credentials here. So here's my address to log in, and here's my username and password. What kind of site can we help you set up? Business or personal? Uh, you could either choose one of those or I don't need help. But um, for now, I'll just put personal. Now this is in WordPress. Um, so you'll definitely need to uh, go through all this stuff here. So site title, Bluehost, uh, just another WordPress site. That's like a default thing. You can change to, to whatever you want. Um, are you going to update your site with news and blog posts? Yep. Um, going to skip all this here. You can put a contact page in here. Once you're in WordPress, this is going to be different tutorials for this. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to install with the Bluehost hosting here. But you can visit your site. Um, and it has the default WordPress theme here. And by default, uh, WordPress also has one blog post in here that you can edit. Like how, kind of like a whatever. And then you can edit your blog post here. And you have all this stuff here. Um, again, WordPress is, is very easy to use. Um, I'm going to do some tutorials on that as well. But before we get going here, let's take a little look at WordPress here. These are default themes that come with WordPress. And you can add um, new ones just by clicking on Add here. And there's billions, well, maybe not billions, but there's <laughs> thousands and thousands of, of uh, free themes here, featured, popular, whatever, whatnot. Um, you can preview them. We'll just do this one right here. This is what this theme looks like. Let's just install one here and see what happens. You install it first. Very simple. Uh, and there we go, it's installed, activate. And then there's a customize button. Where is this thing, customize? Oh, uh, here it is, customize. And you get kind of a live preview of, of your theme here. And then you would go through here, general settings change different things latest blog posts as your stat as your pit or your front page or a static page which we didn't have to add any pages yet so um a site title you could add a logo um whatever you type here is going to be right up here um you can put your icon in here um different colors background color Different themes have different options for all this stuff. So um, depending on what theme you have, like I just put this into a box. And of course you can move this to the sidebar. Right now it's at the top for whatever reason. 
um, hit save and publish. And there's a views of different, if it's on an iPad or a phone, you get the little different views of it down here. Um, but like I said, there's, there's millions of themes. You can install any one of these. All right, so that's just a quick tutorial here, how to install WordPress on with Bluehost. And uh, like I said, check out my links and uh, I'll get a little commission here and uh, hope, hopefully that was helpful and I'm going to do some more uh, tutorials on, on WordPress itself. It's very easy to use um, and I will talk to you soon.